Hi everyone, Fritz here. In this video, we're gonna go over the jack points in the BMW F22. So when we're looking at the jack points for the car, some of the things that we wanna have ready obviously are our jack. We also wanna make sure that we're not working on the car when it's on a jack. We wanna have jack stands. There are actually four places where you can place your jack stands on the car and you can use the specific BMW adapters and you can get them in multiple locations. I prefer just to use hockey pucks. They're about two bucks. They're pretty strong rubber. I've used them for a long time. They haven't failed me yet. And I hope they never do. You could also use a piece of wood when you're jacking up the car. So once the car is jacked up, go ahead, put the jack stands in place and get it to the height that you need. So for the front jack point, we see that we have our catch for the oil right there. And that space right in front of it, where there's no screw, no nut, directly in front of it towards the front of the car, that's the center jacking point for the front of the car. Now, although you do have to get pretty low to find the center jack point, I recommend that you jack the front from the center front jack point if you want the car completely lifted from the front so that you can work on it, say like an oil change or something like that. Rather than tilting it on one side and tilting it on the other, you can have your jack stands both equal and level. That way the car is not slanted. So once the car is at the desired height, go ahead and just slide in your jack stands. Now as the car is lowering, you want to make sure that it's aligned with where you want the jack stand to be and at the appropriate height for both jack stands so your car is level when it's off of the jack. And now we're just going to jack up the rear of the car. Here, you can just use the differential. Try to do it in the body of the differential, not where the joints are or where any connecting points are. So towards more towards the front of the car. So from the rear of the car, the differential, we're going to use this flat portion right here. We never want to go into that joint and try to lift there because if anything gets lifted unevenly, there's a chance that we could break the seal or we could crack the connection point. So again, more importantly, right here, this is the flat spot. There's a bit of an incline if we come up here and then we don't want to get right here because that's too close to the joint. So just behind that lip is the rear center point of the diff that we can lift up. And once you have the rear of the car more or less level with the front of the car, go ahead and put in both of your jack stands. Just ease the car down, making sure that the jack stands support the car exactly where you want them to. And just like that, you have your BMW jacked up on all four points. The reason why I have it jacked so high is because the next project that I'm gonna do is put a short shifter on here. And these cars come really low, so it's hard to get enough clearance in there, so I lift it up a little bit higher than needed, but it's always better to have the extra space and not need it than need the extra space and not have it. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe down below, and in the next video, you're gonna see the install for the short shifter on the BMW M235i. I'll see you then.